Here at Rupus, we spend a lot of time talking about the exterior surfaces and how to care for them. But we received a question from a user on how to take care of the glossy interior pieces of today's cars. In this week's episode, we're gonna show you how to use our Nano to restore those interior trim pieces. The world of paint correction and polishing is getting more complicated by the minute. And every week we receive hundreds of questions in comments on social media, on videos and emails. We want to answer those questions. This is Rupa's Replies. So this particular vehicle has a lot of glossy trim. There's gloss black and there's high gloss wood grain. Most of the time and in most vehicles, this is a very soft material compared to the exterior paint. So it scratches very easily. However, there are some places that you may not want to polish on. There are navigation screens, some gauge cluster covers that have a different material, and you may not be able to polish those. Another key when you're doing any interior polishing is to make sure that you tape off any sensitive surfaces, such as leather, vinyl, textured plastics, anything that you do not want to polish. Because these surfaces are generally on the softer side, we want to take a very mild approach when we polish these. So for this vehicle, I'm going to use our DA Fine Polish, our yellow DA foam pad, and I have this Nano set to rotary mode. In this situation, we are using rotary mode for ultra precision. We don't want random orbital mode here because there is lateral pad movement that can allow the pad to contact the surfaces that we do not want to polish. So we're going to tape off a 50-50 line here so we can see the amount of correction that we get. But normally you would just tape off all of the sensitive areas around the area that you're working on. So for this process, we're gonna prime this pad with a very small amount of compound and we are gonna start the tool on speed one. Now for the big reveal. So we had good success here with a very mild approach. If you didn't get the results you were looking for, or if you're working on a harder material, you may have to use something more aggressive. Hopefully this video will help you keep the interior pieces of your car nice and glossy. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and drop us a comment. Because who knows, maybe it'll be used in the next Rufus Replies. One other tip on masking is to make sure that you mask off anything on an interior that has any sort of print on it.